morning. This is Mike, NoStressMike.com. I want to show you my morning routine on uh, stretches that I do, uh, and uh, there'll be some uh, Tai Chi that I do uh, to prepare for the day. I do this every day, and when I started, I was doing uh, repetitions of 10 each, each one of these exercises, each one of these stretches. Uh, now I just, just do it whatever uh, because I'm able to uh, focus and to let my mind relax when I'm doing it. Uh, now, the reason for doing this is uh, the Chinese say movement is the key to health. And so when just by making that statement, they're covering a lot. Movement is the movement of the body. Movement is the movement of the blood, the circulation, and uh, movement of the energy. All this together is what uh, gives you good health. Now, uh, as you're, you're doing this movement, you're gonna be stretching the tendons and ligaments and muscles, but the main part is the uh, ligaments and tendons. They're hard. They're hard to get circulation to. So that's another reason why you do it first thing in the morning. Because through the night, your body's relaxed. And as your body's relaxed, then uh, your body slows down and your liver does uh, the uh, filtering, the, the blood, uh, the oil-based uh, uh, toxins through the night. That's why it's important uh, to stretch in the morning. It's the morning stretch that really makes it work. And these hard tendons and ligaments uh, are able to get some stretch out of them early in the morning. And then uh, as you get going through the day, you're, you're sitting or you're standing, you're staying in one position. So that's why in the morning is the time to do this kind of stuff. And I'm going to also be doing some uh, uh, Tai Chi, the Tai Chi that I do. It's not uh, a Tai Chi that uh, normally people think of. Tai Chi was illegal in China for over 500 years because the art was so deadly. And uh, I use it now specifically every morning when I get up and get going. Okay, now, uh, because it's a form of stretching. And, but I'll do it as a stretch and then I go on and do it as uh, uh, in a, a full speed for self-defense. Now to start with, you know, regular wearing regular clothes uh, because this is I don't dress any different than what I do or not but I am going to take my shirt off and my hat uh, because you want to feel comfortable now uh, uh, I will be showing you this in sections and uh, well the first part is going to be uh, the, just a normal uh, stretch and relaxing of the back. The hands are up. Bring them down. Bring your head up. You can go like this. And what that's doing is it's lubricating your joints and your shoulders. And when I bring my hands down, I'm bringing my shoulders forward. And that's uh, bringing my shoulder blades out and it relaxes the ribs on the back, on my back. See, I'm pulling my shoulders, pulling the shoulders forward. It relaxes the ribs. But a lot of times your ribs will be twisted through the night if you lay on, on your side and stuff like that. So that gives them a chance to, to straighten out when you're going like that. Also, the neck is going forward, and then when it's going up, it's stretching them out. Okay. Okay. You can get in the same position here. One direction. And the other direction. Okay. 
So you're lubricating everything, you're making movement on that. The hips are even getting movement when you're going like that too. So we've done this. You see the feet are out. Now bring your feet together. Then down, touch your toes. You reach up, up on your toes, and then down. That helps stretch. That helps stretch the back, the hips, and the, the the hip joints and the muscles in the legs. Reach way up. Then when you're with your feet outwards, what you're doing is you're putting a twist in your ankles, knees, hips, low back, vertebrae, and your neck. Then you go from doing it forward like this to backwards. That twisting lubricates your whole back and uh, the structure your structure down below here, low back and all your vertebrae and your shoulders and neck. Then I'll go from this This is your Tai Chi. You imagine holding a ball, you go side to side, side to side. That movement. That movement is the basic for my type of self-defense uh, combat moves. That movement right there. Everything feeds off of that movement. And the reason is, as you see, as it's going this way, this hand is blocking, right here. This hand is blocking whatever it is. Something's reaching, somebody's reaching for me, this blocks their reach. Or if they're swinging at me, this blocks their, their swing. And I follow up with this one. Same thing here, block. And this one follows up as a strike. So it's block, strike in one move. Block, strike, block, strike. Just that move right there. Another one. Yes, you push out, come in. Push out, come in. Back straight. You're bending your knee, going forward, straightening it, pulling back. Okay, what this is, 
this is the same thing when if there's my uh, opponent is right there right when I make contact with him okay from that you will feel them either push in on you and if they push in when right when you strike them right when you feel them pushing in then you grab them and pull them down like that and pull them down okay if you feel them right when you hit them you feel them pull them back then you push push forward that will be knocking them down. That's the part where they talk about using your opponent's energy against themselves. Right when I make contact, when I feel them pushing towards me, I grab and pull them down. So it's contact, pull them down. If they're pulling away from me, right when I get them like that, then I push forward, pushing them forward. That's what this is all about. But it's also, while we're uh, practicing, we're getting movement in our elbows, wrists, uh, uh, rotator cups, and uh, shoulder blades. But what we're doing is making contact. They're pushing against us, we pull them down. They're pulling away from us, we push them forward. Now, these movements, you put them together. One with the other one with the other one. Okay. Now, after I'm doing all these, these are my basic moves were right there. The pushing and the ball. That's my basic moves. Okay, now there is one more thing I do. And I'll get like this. And that is in case someone is on my back. And then I go from that See? One jumped on my back. I get them off while the other ones are coming in. All these moves are done very slow. What we're accomplishing is muscle memory. And then as you put these moves, one leads to the other move, then you are coordinating yourself on the moves to put them all together. And you can use the same, the same technique whether you're going up against one attacker or multiple attackers. When I find some steps, I'll put my foot up. Let's see, I'm putting my toes up on the step. So then it's like that. But what I'll do is just, just like earlier, when we're going like that. Going out, pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. See, this gets extra, extra stretch on uh, tendons and ligaments. Extra stretch and the, and the muscles. That's what we want. Extra stretch. Okay, what I've been doing lately has been going like this. Kind of, you get them both going. And uh, I would say it's lubricating the, the joints. You go one direction, 
then you go the other direction. What are you doing? You see I'm twisting my body. And then you can also you have your hands like that. And then you change them like that. So uh, we already know swimming is good for you. So this is like a swimming move. So I would say it's lubricating the joints, low back and the, the, the arms where they go into the joint there. Ro rotator cup or something like that. Yeah. But I've been doing that in the mornings too. And so these are things I keep adding. Every time I figure out something, I add that to what I've already doing. Now here I'm lucky. I got the, the concrete here thing to go on. And what I do is I put my foot up there and then I say, of course, just touch your toes and you're stretching. These are all stretches. Another thing you do is you turn your, your body to the side, you see your foot will be turned to the side, and then the same thing. You can come down and touch the other toes. And this is a good way to stretch. You just do the same thing on both sides. Both sides. And I said, go down, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Got a good stretch. And the hamstrings especially. I say, I'm not much on exercise, but I do the stretches. Uh, it's not the bulk of the muscles, but I like the, the, uh, the quickness is what I go by. Okay, now you set your feet outwards, you get up on your toes, you're stretched out like this. And it's just like you're doing a push-up. You're doing like that, just like you're doing a push-up. This helps uh, get the strength without all the strain. You get to stretch the muscles without straining them. And then uh, what you do is you take a point right here, any point, and you focus with your eyes. This will be an eye exercise also. So you focus on that. And you come down, focusing on it. Come in. You're focusing on it. What you're doing, you're stretching the muscles in the eyeballs or stretching as you're doing this. Your back, you can either let it slump like this and do it and bring it, arch it, or you can do it straight. Doesn't make any difference. Okay, now as you're focusing on that spot, you focus on it, you come down, then you look up on something a long ways away and you focus on that. So focus and then out. Raise your neck up and you focus way out. Way out. I say it makes the eyeballs, stretches all the muscles in the eyeballs. Look close and just look way out. At the same time, you're going up and down. You're giving your upper body workout.